Hey guys, Greg Conley here, back with Trifecta and Renaissance Periodization with Dr. Mike Isratel. Uh, this time we're talking a little bit more in depth about the psychology of dieting, and in this case, we're going to be discussing the convenience of dieting. So uh, I'm sure there are a number of different levels to this topic, uh, some of which are trifecta related and some are more scientific uh, on the RP side. So. Uh, I guess convenience of dieting. What uh, what immediately comes to mind for you? The, what comes to mind immediately is the balance between people trying to challenge themselves through dieting and giving themselves all the best weapons to succeed. Mm -hmm. Because like we have this mentality of dieting that we've inherited from I don't know where. Maybe you can comment on where that comes from. But people will say, okay, a diet. It's supposed to be hard. Mm -hmm. The food's supposed to taste not that great. It could be some value to that at, at times, but not all the time. And they say, okay, it's supposed to, you know, me having to meal prep and, and having to go out and get these ingredients and having to go to a different store to get health food or whatever, it's a part of my suffering. Mm -hmm. It makes it all worthwhile or something like that. And if you're using diet as an opportunity for personal growth and your health and performance is not really a big concern, that's an interesting way to try to enhance perform like your personal growth, but that's fine. But if you're wanting fat loss and muscle gain and results, then why don't you give yourself all the big advantages? When you talk to, uh, if you've ever talked to elite special forces guys, mm -hmm. um, you, you, you ask them, you know, how good are you hand to hand? And almost all of them answer the same thing. Uh, I don't prefer to ever be hand to hand. And then where do you prefer to be? I prefer to be 500 meters out with a scope. Like, but that's all this technology you're using. Can't you actually like get in with someone and actually make the kill or whatever, or defend yourself? And they're like, yeah, but why don't I give myself the best tools and tactics so that the engagement ever occurs? Yeah, to and make that most effective for sure. as opposed to... It, and a lot yeah. of the guys that I've talked to say, like, if it comes down to hand to hand, you screwed up. <laughs> it's supposed to never happen. Now, you're supposed to have a huge backstop to it, but that's a just in case. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these guys aren't... You know, in their training, they're going on challenging themselves physically and psychologically and emotionally as much as they can. In combat, where it matters, the idea is to not challenge yourself remotely and to get the job done as quickly as easily and giving yourself the biggest mm -hmm. convenience and advantage possible. Yet, you can hike through 10 miles potentially to get to where you need to go, do your mission and come out. But if you can get hella drop two miles away, why would you make yourself tired for no reason and expose yourself to the enemy, et cetera, et cetera, if you can have that quote unquote convenience, that shortcut, so to speak, in order to get the job done, because remember, what is it all about? The job done. You know, after they go, let's say when you know those guys uh, finally got Osama bin Laden, they didn't ask them, like, oh, how hard was the experience? Was it psychologically rewarding for you? They asked them, did you do what it takes to protect our nation? Yes, and they did it in the most efficient way possible. They cheated with stealth helicopters. Yeah, remember the, that? The minimal <laughs> risk as well. Yes, because they they don't want to risk themselves or their teammates. So they're like, okay, we're going to use maximum technology, totally maximum tactics in order to like, totally hedge our bets as much as totally. humanly possible. And, 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 to succeed. And then they may come back and after that mission amongst themselves talk about how that really wasn't that hard of an op. Mm -hmm. But like, got the job done. That's what's important. So when dieting, if you're using it as a training exercise, mm -hmm. make it as hard as you like. But if you actually want to lose fat, gain muscle, whatever your diet is doing for you, try to align the factors to be as convenient as possible. That means if you are financially capable of it or if that's within your realm, uh, Make sure to batch cook instead of cooking just when you're able with your schedule. If you can batch cook, consider ordering maybe from a company like Trifecta, maybe from somewhere else, maybe just to get meals pre-prepped for you or at least ingredients to make it simpler, make it more convenient because everything else is stressful when you're dieting. Your boss yells at you just the same. It sounds like he's yelling at you more when you're dieting. Your spouse, your children, etc. everything converges in a perfect storm when you're dieting. It always happens. And your willpower is degraded by the diet. It might as well be that all the other factors, food prep, gym, mm -hmm. clothing, etc., is aligned in such a way as to make it minimally stressful on you, more convenient, that gives you better chances to succeed at the mission. Forget about making it hard. If you want to make it hard, don't expect the good results. If you want good results, make it as easy and convenient as you can. What do you think? Absolutely. No, I mean, it's it's really the cornerstone behind uh, the, the psychological concept that we built around trifecta, which is, uh, you know, human beings are 
naturally inclined to eat the most convenient thing there we're going to eat what's in front of us and because of that we instinctively you know end up eating uh, cheap meals more often or going to mcdonald's or whatever the situation is because you get off work it's 8 p.m that ends up being the you know the really really easy thing for you to do you don't want to go home and you know cook a full meal of chicken and broccoli that takes 30 45 minutes uh, it's the same concept behind meal prep whether you're getting it from us or doing it yourself is you've got all those meals pre-prepared so it's very easy for you to conveniently go uh, you know take a meal and eat it and that happens to be the food that's in front of you you open your refrigerator and it's full of meal prep containers instead of being full of a bunch of random crap and then you end up reaching for the peanut butter and a banana and uh, you end up going you know way off your diet and consuming you know too much fat in that case uh, because of it so above and beyond the convenience of actually having food come to your house the the kind of psychological model behind trifecta is is exactly that you have the highest probability of succeeding uh, because it, it, we've made it so incredibly convenient for people we've made it more convenient than mcdonald's the food comes directly to you it's prepared by somebody uh, professionally by chefs so Already it tastes there. good um, you know it's uh, you know i don't want to turn this into a, a commercial for it but you know ultimately that is uh, really why people are able to be so successful you know they they understand how much they should eat at what times uh, you know and what quantities from rp and then we deliver that exact amount of food uh, you know to their door and it makes it as convenient as humanly possible to actually succeed you've got all the tools the you know the gun the night vision all that type of stuff going into your diet that you end up being you know hugely successful because of it so um yeah we, just Sorry, just to make you know to make sure this is not an infomercial for Trifecta or RP. Do you know Greg and I want you guys to use our products? Yes, because we think they're good products. We think they'll help you. But if you're watching us from any walk of life in any financial situation or any sort of decision making process, uh, it doesn't matter that much if you use RP and Trifecta. You could be making your own meals. You could be not following just the principles of scientific dieting. You don't have to buy the templates or something like that. Mm -hmm. The more convenient you can make it, no matter which way you go, we think RP and Trifecta is really convenient, but whichever way you go down that route, make it more convenient for yourself, make stuff readily available, make it simple. And I think it's another thing that goes into uh, either, you know, that's actually a great advantage of Trifecta is that you can just custom order what you want to eat because one of the impediments to convenience is like, how many different kinds of meat am I going to cook for this week? No, oh, absolutely. Like when you make meal prep, you, I don't know about you guys, but if I meal prep by myself, You're I make like thing one thing for the whole yeah, yeah. Like, I like, Okay, I got a thing for salmon, a thing for steak, a thing for chicken. I'd love for that to be the reality, but first of all, I can't cook that well, remotely well. Uh, and, and second of all, it's just really complicated. It's not convenient at all. So when you got Trifecta's big advantage in, in one sense is that like, well, how many options do you guys have for meat? I, I, what, what's the, what's I the think case? we're up to eight now, yeah. And you can, really and you can just order a bunch of different stuff and you could be eating delicious meals that are super easy to, to get in and, and there's a diversity now because a lot of times that convenience fights with that variety. You say, okay, well, I got a diet that's really convenient, but for me to make it convenient has no variety and I'm like bored to tears with it and I just end up cheating because I need something else than chicken or something. Mm -hmm. But with something like Trifecta, you can have both and it's a, that's, well, wow, what a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. Convenience of dieting, it's more about uh, building a tool set that will help you ultimately succeed. Uh, you know, using Mike's military example, uh, you know, having your bulletproof vest and your gun and uh, your night vision goggles and all of that so that even though you may be able to willpower it through in hand-to-hand -hand combat when it comes to your diet, it's much better to end the fight from, you know, 200 yards away and, and ultimately end up being successful by mitigating as much risk of diet failure as you possibly can by, by using these tools. Um, so we try and continuously come up with new tools that, that, uh, you know, you guys and ourselves, obviously we, you know, drink our own Kool-Aid can use, uh, you know, going forward to make dieting more effective for people because we're at a, you know, a point where, you know, 72% of adult males and 68% of adult you know, females are struggling with dieting at this point. So, um, so yeah, that is the uh, convenience of dieting. I'm sure we're going to get more into this topic in the future, but we'll be back with another video in a second here. Thanks guys.